Merry Christmas, everybody! This is the third time of me recording that intro. The first time, I hit shift too many times and engaged sticky keys. The second time, I was a little bit more careful. I didn't engage sticky keys, but then when I told you guys that I had engaged sticky keys on my first recording, I then engaged sticky keys by accident. So this is now the third time. I'm not going to hit shift anymore. And I'm going to move away from the reindeer. I like them there for the intro. I thought they were pretty cute, especially with me wearing a Santa uniform. But they're also really loud and obnoxious in my ear hole. So we're going to fly up into the sky and have the snow globe in the background. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Snow Globe. Apart from this isn't really a Let's Build a Snow Globe episode because the snow globe is finished. And instead, I just want to use this video to have a chat to you guys uh, about Christmas. Wish you a very Merry Christmas. And most importantly, ask you... Oh, it started snowing. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, uh, most importantly, ask you two things in the comment section. Number one, what you got for Christmas. What your favourite thing was for Christmas. I asked this last year and there was some really awesome uh, responses. Some of you guys were crazy crazy lucky last year and i expect some of you are going to be crazy crazy lucky this year you know there was a normal good awesome stuff like money uh, or games uh, things like that clothes uh, but then there was uh, the very lucky lucky people uh, that got like new computers or new laptops uh, crazy like expensive stuff like that uh, and then there were the people that got really unusual gifts i remember last year there was one person uh, when i asked this question they got a tarantula for christmas if anybody got me a tarantula for christmas they would no longer be a friend i don't care that christmas is all about forgiving and embracing each other and you know gifts are all about the thought that counts now, if you give me a tarantula for Christmas year, or as a gift at any time of year, you are not being my friend any longer. I do not like spiders, but they got tarantula as a gift. Ooh, that's what they wanted, so it was all cool. It wasn't like they had been bad, so their their parents punished them by getting them something that they didn't like. Uh, it's just what the what what they wanted. So yeah, I want to know that. The second thing that I want to know, which I'm going to sort of go into a little bit now, uh, for me is what your favourite part about Christmas is. What, what was, what's the most best part? Is it the gifts, you know, getting the presents and stuff like that? Is it the time off school that you have? Is it the snow? If you're in the UK like I am, then that's probably not going to be it because we don't really get too much snow. Is it uh, the food? Is it the family or, you know, meeting up with friends? As an adult, we don't get too many presents at Christmas anymore. When you know, when I was young, you know, we, the Christmas tree used to be full at the bottom of Christmas gifts, and they were all for me. Uh, but as you get older, um, you get less and less presents, unfortunately. But you start appreciating uh, other things a lot more. And one of the things that I've really started to appreciate over the years uh, recently is the food. I really enjoy the Christmas meal and the bonding time and the fun and the smiles and the laughs that everybody has uh, around the Christmas table. For me, it's a little bit, uh, not awkward, but a little bit different uh, for me personally because Christmas dinner is at a different time to where I normally would eat. And I'm sure it's the same for some of you guys. Like, I normally eat at about half past six or seven o'clock at night. However, on Christmas Day, the Christmas meal is always about one or two o'clock in the afternoon it's very very early. it's like six hours earlier than i would usually eat that's a long time you know six hours earlier than you usually eat but what makes it even stranger for me is that i don't get up until about half past 10 or 11 o'clock now that might make me sound really really lazy and a lot of people think that i you know when i talk to uh, family and cousins and stuff like that they say you know, you know what do you do i say you know i do youtube you know i get up at 11 o'clock and they're like why well, you get up at 11 o'clock it, it sounds lazy, but you've got to remember that I don't get, go to bed until 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning uh, because I've got friends that are in, you know, America and stuff like that and other parts of the world. So to be able to be able to chat to them, uh, I need to be up at that time. So I sort of end up changing my time zone to suit other people and I just go to bed whenever. Uh, I don't need to, to get up to go to a, a, a job or school or anything so I don't need to make sure that I get a certain amount of hours sleep. I can always catch up on sleep at another time. However, on Christmas Day, I get up at like half past 10 or 11 o'clock 
And then within one or two hours, I'm then eating the big meal, the big Christmas meal, and usually drinking some alcohol along with it, you know, some champagne or some wine or whatever, uh, you know, Christmas baby that you have, Buck Fizz was one of the ones that we used to have when we were younger. Um, so only been up like an hour or two and then and then eating a huge meal is a little bit strange but i've got used to it over the sort of three years that i've been doing youtube uh, it's definitely a sort of different way of of, of eating a meal <laughs> two hours after you get up uh, but i i've really started to appreciate that more i really like um the 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 bonding with family and the smiles and the cheer and the happiness that you can just feel you know you can feel this awesome atmosphere and we play some christmas games and we there's usually some sort of food fight that breaks out at the end and sprouts start getting thrown across the room it's very very fun <laughs> just don't not gravy don't throw things with gravy on it like a roast potato with gravy flying through the air it's just a mess it gets all over the walls but as long as it's dry food then food fight as much as you like um i also really like uh meeting friends that i never get to see throughout the year uh you know my family i've got a very close family uh but very small uh you know people that i really care about you know my mom my dad uh my fiance my nan uh think people like that i really um always spend a lot of time with anyway uh but my cousins and and, and other people in my family i don't really see or talk to that much throughout the year uh, but at christmas and the same with friends you see them don't you? you know where you exchange gifts or or at least say merry christmas to them uh most of the time you know we meet up and we go out for some drinks and stuff like that so christmas for me that one of the best parts about christmas is actually catching up with friends that you just haven't seen throughout the year and there's so many people that that happens to me with um i've got a lot of friends abroad as well and they come back to the uk for christmas to spend time with their family so i get to see them then as well you know sometimes it's been two or three years since i've seen them so uh that's probably my favorite part about christmas for me let me know in the comment section what your favorite part is that you know like i said at the beginning that, that's gonna be a really interesting part for me to read uh, i think what you guys find find the most uh important part uh, if you don't celebrate Christmas, uh, then I sort of apologize if you like for all the Christmas videos that uh, you'll see online and see everywhere. Uh, but Christmas is all about respecting others and stuff like that. Uh, so definitely don't get too upset if you don't celebrate Christmas and there's Christmas everywhere, all the shops are all Christmassy. Because that's sort of what the whole holiday is meant to be about it's meant to be embracing others and you know forgiving others and, uh, and stuff like that so definitely be happy even if you don't celebrate christmas at christmas time uh, because it's all about happiness it's all about what it's meant to be i don't really know why any of you guys are watching this video anyway to be honest because it's christmas day you guys should surely have something more important than watching one of my videos comes out maybe, maybe you're watching this like the day after christmas where everything's a little bit more chilled out and you sort of got this day off before you got to clean up and uh, and, and tidy up everything from christmas day all the christmas wrapping paper or sort all your presents out and stuff like that um i don't know why you'd be watching this on christmas day you should be eating and playing and maybe maybe you're watching this on a on the new computer that you got for christmas or something like that and you're just testing it out and you thought the best video to test out your or the best thing to test out your computer with would be to watch one of my videos and i agree that's probably the best way to test out your new laptop uh, or computer anyway i'm gonna keep this nice and short nice and simple i don't want it to go on for too long uh the snow globe is now completed i've even got the lights flashing on there i added some penguins off camera i thought why not have some penguins inside of the snow globe our father christmas our santa claus is still flying about it's really nice he's never gone round the back he's always stayed around the front and he gets caught in one of the um cobwebs every now and again which is nice because it stops him uh but i thought knowing my luck that he'd always go behind the bag and he'd go behind one of the trees when we can't see him but no he's never gone sort of behind that snow that giant snowflake and stayed at the front here so i've always been able to see him it's been really really nice really really nice i'm very happy with this build um i've been very very happy with this year i'd like to say well i shouldn't really do this until like new years really new years is where i should be saying thank you for this year but i'll say it now anyway thank you ever so much for all the support this year uh, on all the videos um if you're an old oh i've frozen if you're an old or new subscriber why have i frozen 
well that was weird. <laughs> the snow just stopped. <laughs> yeah, but that's pretty much it. I don't really why I carried on recording. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, start to 2017 and enjoy what's left of 2016. I've got a lot of plans coming up for next year. Um, some that you'll probably be hearing about pretty soon, hopefully. Um, uh, uh, to do with the channel, you know, relating to the channel and relating to you guys. Some very interesting uh, and fun stuff planned for 2017. Uh, I think it's hopefully going to be a big year for us. I think we're going to be able to do a lot of good things, uh, expand our family a lot more, and, uh, and just generally have a lot of fun, which is all I'm about. I'm just about having a lot of fun and, uh, and entertaining you guys. Have a great Christmas day, what's left of it. Uh, great rest of the year. Again, let me know, comment section below. Uh, what you got for Christmas and what your favorite thing about Christmas is and hit that like button if you had a good 2016 I want to see that like button through the roof I want to see it so high the higher it is the better I'm gonna feel because the happier you guys are see you guys tomorrow probably normal videos will, con uh, will commence as normal tomorrow uh, the Christmas stuff is now sort of finished uh, so back to the grind back to the enjoyment 